friends, I am Jyoti Kumari, Assistant Professor at Vyani Girls College, Jaipur. Welcome to you all on behalf of Guru KPU. Today, I am going to deliver my lecture on cell signaling. We all know that multicellular organism consists of many types of cells. So, cells present in multicellular organism needs to communicate with each other for proper functioning of the cell. So, the process, cell signaling is a process of communication in which the signaling cell produces specific signal molecule which in turn binds to the target cell and produces specific response. So the signal molecule about which I am talking is actually a heterogeneous molecule. It can be any kind of hormone, any kind of chemical, steroid or non-steroid like molecule. You can see the diagrammatic presentation of cell signaling. In this, the particular, this is the signaling cell and this is the target cell. So signaling cell produces a signal molecule which goes and binds to the target cell and produces response. So this binding of this particular signaling molecule to the target cell leads to its activation and production of small intracellular molecules which are called as secondary messengers. Example such as uh, cyclic AMP, cyclic GMP, inositol triphosphate etc. So now the steps of cell signaling. First of all synthesis and release of signal molecule by the signaling cell. Second step, after the signal molecule is released, the transport of signal molecule to the target cell. So, after the uh, signaling molecule reaches to the target cell, it binds to the target cell and then leads to its activation. After that, initiation of signal transduction pathway occurs. Now, the signaling molecule binds to a particular site on the target cell. That site is known as receptor. So receptor can be of two types. They can be intracellular receptors and cell, cell, cell surface receptors. Mm. So if the particular molecule is able to cross the plasma membrane, then it will bind to the intracellular receptor. But if it is not able to cross the plasma membrane, then it will bind to cell surface receptor and produces response. Now let's come to types of signaling. There are three types of cell signaling. First, autocrine, paracrine, and third is endocrine. Autocrine is basically when a particular signaling cell produces a signal molecule which binds to itself and then produces response. Example of this type of signaling is when any foreign antigen enters into our body and our immune, immune system responds to the particular foreign antigen. Next is paracrine signaling. In this type of signaling, the particular signaling cell produces the signaling molecule which binds to the cells which are located nearby to the signaling cells. Example of this type of signaling is uh, synapse, neurotransmitters. Next we have endocrine signaling. In this, this type of signaling occurs when the cells are located very far away from each other. In this, the signaling cell produces the signal molecule which then goes into the bloodstream and then it is further this time for the binding to its target cell. Thank you. For more videos, you can log on to www.gookpo.com.